Hello, I am Killer Rubub. Welcome back to Rocket Boots. This is episode 5. And we are just talking to a cardinal brother as we are chatting in our cell. We currently have no weapons and nothing at all in our inventory. At this level, we get our first utility weapon. This level is quite long and somewhat boring, but I like the utility weapon. We get it here. It's brain bugs. Brain bugs can um, take over any soldier's mind and allows you to play as them for a short amount of time. Well, until you decide to not play as them anymore. Basically, you want to get use them to get through the areas and open doors in this level. Here is a little bit of a weird thing. The uh, You'd think you need to brain bug through the door, but you actually have to go back into this room and brain bug this soldier here who wasn't there before. He just basically talks about how this day would be the best day for him, for work. And then we brain bug him. I really like the animation for brain bugging. It happens every single time we brain bug. I'll be showing it off again later in the chapter. This uh, penguin here that we just murdered talks about how we smell like old cab cabbage and battery acid, a side effect of brain bugging ourselves. This room here is where the second sign is. We'll be seeing that later when I go back and get it. Uh, you cannot pick up uh, any pick upable items when you are controlling someone, so stuff like the red key card you cannot pick up. I was just showing off there that you cannot jump across the gap, you actually need to jump from the box. Which means that you should put your box in a good place. When I last recorded this chapter, I recorded this chapter twice. Um, it didn't. I didn't put the box in the right place. It's quite hilarious. So to get out of your brain bug film, all you have to do is select the kill option and then kill yourself by putting a bullet into your head. When you have the gun to your head you cannot move or do anything apart from shoot yourself. There is an achievement for brain bugging or every single penguin soldier in this game. We've just uh we've just brain bugged the normal grunts. There is also the red soldiers which we saw in chapter Chapter 4, which is the uh, the jetpack level, we'll be seeing them again. No, Chapter 3 was the jetpack level, sorry. Anyway, we have to go back and get the red keycard before we can go and see his cardinal brother. So we're going to go do that now. Go back and grab the red keycard. Um, the people that you brain bug have ammo separate to yours, which I don't show off here but I'll show off in a later episode, because it's hard to have the gun, hard to get the gun and brain bug an enemy at the same time in this level. So I like the aesthetics in this level, it looks very prison like. You can constantly hear screams of pain and anguish in the background. Uh, the, it's very broken, very torture-like. It doesn't look like it has been maintained in a while. It's very cool. This level also contains one half of my favourite cutscene in the entire game. It contains the New World Revolution song, Illuminate Me. I'll talk about it later when we see it, but... Basically, the song, Illuminate Me, is in two parts of a cutscene. Up here we're going to go rescue... Oh well, see the other Cardinal Soldier. And comes out of second brain bug... area. So here you just have to throw a brain bug through the grate up the top. This penguin has no dialogue. 
there's the animation there. We'll be showing it off again when I... Because I'm going to brainwork all these the soldiers for the achievements. So. This dude will continue talking about how you don't look good and how that you are sick and that he wants you to relieve him. As you can see, we can't pick up the blue key card. And we need the green card to get into this door. Apparently the Cardinals know who we are, but the other Penguin soldiers do not until we start murdering them. So I just kill myself. And I have to go up and grab the blue keycard, which is used to unlock the door down the bottom of the elevator. We'll be seeing that later. I really like the uh, operating theatre, how bloody it looks and how it looks like someone's tried to escape. Don't know who was being operated on, hopefully not hardboiled. He doesn't look injured enough to be operated on, but it could be a possibility. We're just going to move this box here for the second sign. For now. And go down. And go to the second part of the level. Which is more... Uh, the high-risk detainees and it's more prison-like. There was the loading screen there that I just cut out. Showing how long this level is. That it needs two loading screens to load. As did the last level. Here on death row. We've got a bunch of cardinals and gas chambers. We've spray painted anti black star stuff on their walls. That's pretty cool. The cardinals are really strong allies. Uh, although they have no guns, their fists can actually kill things, unlike hard worlds, which we'll be seeing later. Here I showed that standing in the gas chambers doesn't actually hurt you because obviously the gas is not far enough and rolling in the gas also doesn't hurt you. In this area you cannot brain bug any guards, the brain bugs will just fall through the floor. It's just to stop you from using the guards to your advantage, you're meant to let the cardinals solve all your problems. Which is fine by me because it looks awesome. They're all punching guns. There I get shot. I don't know why the Cardinals are meant to be protecting me. No, why did you protect me? This level is um, kind of boring, but I like it because it's got a nice aesthetic, nice music. We get to see all the Cardinals murder the penguins. They're like brutes. This penguin is so scared that he takes the uh, scrolling elevator thing across rather than have to deal with the cardinals. So down there we see the AK-47, the guns that the penguins are currently using. Here the puzzle is that you have to get the uh, guard that's walking down there to stand on the elevator. Basically, by the elevator is a kind of delay, so you just press the button when the guard is walking past the pipes and you should get him. As an informative let's play. Uh, here I missed my brain bugging chance basically because he's walking you have to hit the brain bugs exactly and there I went through the animation twice because I hit him with two rainbows by accident. You can see the uh, first sign below me. I was just showing off there that you cannot pick up key cards as the uh, penguin. I jump for it and I completely miss, and I'm not going to go up again, so I'm just going to do it with hard world instead. I'm going to use this guard to kill all the rest of the guards that are left in the bottom area, and uh, then kill it, and then I'll use hard world for the rest of the level. Uh, and this. And this area is the third side, so this level has quite a bit of backtracking for the signs. You have to go from here to back to the first area, and then back here again. 
the third zone is also pretty hard to get, you'll see that later. I'm going to just uh, cut it out, but I'm going to run manually to the second zone because that's the way we need to go anyway. Now that we've got the green key card, we have to go back to the, uh, the cardinal that's in prison. And also there's enemies along the way, which weren't there before. Enemies that I completely forget about, so I let my ma uh, fingers off the mouse and get hurt. I actually thought I was going to die in this part, but there's only one more enemy left in this area. And so... I'm not at too huge a lip risk. There he is. Now we go to go get this second zone. Good thing I left that box there, otherwise we couldn't get up. And after we get this, I'm just going to cut to getting the third zone. Here we go. And you just have to drop off the moving sliding thing and that it took me like, three tries to get in this run and now we're just back to doing the proper level in the cut I moved the box to the thing so I could get back up the elevator got a couple of penguins to murder in this area and then we're on the home stretch just gotta rescue the Cardinal and hope that he's got a plan for getting us out of this prison. Because we're trapped in again. Oh no. But fortunately, there's a hole directly below us, as I was sh just showing that you can't actually hurt the Cardinals. But uh, after this. Cardinal stops talking and I'm going to shut up for the cutscene, which is just after we roll out of the um, roll out of the hatch. So I like that cutscene, it's very emotional, in it we learn that Hardboiled used to be a Black Star soldier, he was brought up after being kidnapped by other Black Star soldiers, used to wear the White Star, but that has been episode 5, next is episode 6, Airfield Escape, thank you very much for watching, I have been Killer Above.